Alright, hey guys, welcome to Mini Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. And today we will be creating a very simple poster design using a very simple tool that is called Liquify in Photoshop. So if you guys are new to this channel and haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please, please, please do subscribe my channel. And also, if you want to get this PSD file, this will be available on my Patreon. So with that sort of information, let's dive into the video. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create an artboard and for that press Ctrl and N. And then I'll just go with uh, 3 by 5 resolution to 300, color mode to RGB, bitrate to 8. And let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create. And then right after that, let's drag and drop this image right over here. And let's convert it as a smart object, Control T. Let's make it a little smaller, just like so. And then let's keep it maybe somewhere around here. And then let's create a rectangle. And then for the rectangle fill color, let's uh, go with kind of similar background color, just like so. And let's create a rectangle. And then let's convert this rectangle as a smart object too. And now let's go to filter, let's go to liquify. And then uh, from here, let's go over to forward warp tool and let's draw a simple random shapes. So here we go. make it a kind of Just like that and let's click on OK. So this is what we got. And let's drag and drop uh, this texture image right over here. And let's change the blending mode to overlay just like that. Let's make it a little smaller. So for that press Ctrl and T. And let's drop it down just like so. And let's create a layer max again on this layer and go to brush and using the black color let's erase some of these parts from the top yeah just like so and maybe let's drop down the opacity just a little touch something like that now let's add a text so go over here add a text and Control t let's make it a little bigger let's keep it somewhere over here and let's change the font to maybe this one yep i guess this one looks better Control t make it more bigger let's keep it right over here and again let's make a one more copy Right click, convert to smart object, and let's go to filter, and again let's apply a liquify. And again let's add some liquify to this text. click on OK so and then let's move this under these textures 
right over here and you know what like let's uh move this overly and very top i guess yep and let's tilt this layer max for now i think this looks better so but let's drop down the opacity just a little bit yep something like that and let's add a one more text like so and then for this texture overlay uh, for this texture let's create a layer max go to brush i guess there in the background i think it's a little too much let's erase some of these parts yep just like so and then let's go on very top let's press ctrl ctrl shift alt and e to merge everything and make a copy I select this layer go to filter let's go to camera raw filter and let's do some uh, color adjustment and for the very first thing i want to do is just increase the clarity just like so and maybe increase the textures too and i'd like to lift up the shadow just like that and maybe let's increase the exposure just a little bit yep just like so and let's click on ok and on very top let's add a color lookup and from here click on load and I'd like to use my this Cinelab. So select this one and click on load. And let's go on very top. Let's create a new layer. Go to brush. And let's go with a white color. And let's change the blending mode to screen. And let's drop down the opacity. Just like so. And yep, this is the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.